the fear of reality is probably destroying your trading and probably not only your trading but the fear of reality is responsible for wrecking everything that could be so amazing and great in your life and if you're not seeing the results that you're after right now not only in trading but in life in general if you're not truly satisfied and fulfilled then probably the fear of reality is at the root of everything so this is what i'm going to tackle in this video and in a few seconds you will see our new trade site logo for the first time ever all right i hope you enjoyed that if you did let me know in the comments below but let's get back to the topic so i will talk about um, the fear of reality and it is an ancient protection mechanism which is ingrained in us very very deeply in our dna in our genes and the goal of the of it is actually to protect ourselves from feeling insecure unworthy or also from feeling like a failure so actually in its essence it's a good thing that we have but if it's not channeled and not observed and not understood <clears throat> then it can also wreck our trading and not only our trading you probably have seen it and experienced it in your in your everyday life uh, the most obvious example is when you've probably spent too much maybe you bought your girlfriend or wife uh, something that too, is too expensive um, and then you know okay oh my bank account it's down so much and but the check my salary is coming and it's clearing in a few, few days so i'm not going to check my bank account now um, i will just wait a week and then it, it'll, it will look much better you're closing your eyes in front of reality Another example, maybe you've been on a holiday or you've been just eating not uh, that great, you've not been exercising and you've put on a few pounds, but you tell yourself, oh, I will not step on the scale. Um, it's not that bad. I will just eat less and then in a few weeks it will take care of itself. But um, yeah, I don't need to know. Again, the fear of reality, you are closing your eyes in front of the truth that is happening in that moment right now in reality. And obviously this is very bad it also won't really change not really it won't change the reality you won't have more money in the bank you will still have the, the same amount of money in the bank um, you will not have less weight and even worse it leads to the wrong decisions to the wrong assumptions about yourself your actions your behavior because if you close your eyes in front of the reality you don't really see the need to change your behavior and you don't really see your bad behavior you won't see the fact that you're overeating maybe that you're not exercising enough or you're just blurring it out and blocking it out from from your from your own subjective reality and in trading how does it manifest it manifests when traders and this has come up because of a recent conversation with a student of mine um, when traders don't look at what they have been doing i often ask and i always ask actually my students so what does your trade review look like and what did it tell you and then many or probably almost all most people say i don't have a review process um, i know that it's not going great but it's just a matter of time until i find the right thing and again this is this is the fear of reality where you're blocking and you're closing your eyes in front of what's happening and obviously what will you see when you look at your performance? You will see that you are the one that made the mistake, not your system. Many traders confuse that with their system is not great. I need a better system. That's not true. If you would look at your performance objectively, you will see and you will understand that you are the one that is making the mistakes. You are the one that is breaking everything, that you're not following your rules. You're being emotionally, you're not expecting, accepting risk management and money management principles. You're risking too much not your system is the problem you are the problem because you are not respecting the rules and you're completely impulsive you're maybe system hopping you're hunting for the whole grail and then those traders they make the wrong assumptions about what is trading why am i not successful how can i be successful and then they go out and they hunt systems because they have never looked at the real core of the problem at hand what is actually going on and this is the fear of reality so let's step back and ask ourselves why is this actually happening 
because it's important to understand ourselves on a deeper level that we can then make better decisions going forward and we will come to that as well so obviously you don't want to set, uh, face bad results and you don't want to see that you are the problem that you are the weakest link not only in trading when it comes to health diet spending habits whatever it may be relationships and of course if you don't really know then you can still blame other factors you can blame central banks too much volatility trump tweeted something silly uh, the guy on twitter said something and it didn't work out uh, news trading insider trading whatever it may be you still have plenty of ways that you can reason why it's not your problem but someone else caused this and then uh, the market tanked and you know i added too much to my position because this guy said it and then you blow up your account but it's not your fault because you have so many other things that you can blame and that makes you feel better but a really truly successful professional trader he always accepts full responsibility for whatever he is doing for whatever um, results he's seeing so that is um, the amateur and the pro mindset are very very different here and that is how self-sabotage can come in what if you gave it your all what if you're very professional you spend a lot of time you subscribe to courses spend a lot of money you tr do everything right you follow your system whatever whatever everything you are, could be doing you are doing and then you're still losing money you're not seeing the results and you're not able to reach your goal what does it tell you and what does it mean it means that you're not good enough maybe it means that you will never be able to reach your goal and then what is it? this leads to losing hope and hope is one of the most important emotions that you can have feelings because without hope we get depressed we lose our sense of purpose and um, it's a little weird segue but a man's search for meaning from Viktor Frankl it's a great book um, he was incarcerated in a Nazi uh, concentration camp and he said in his book that the only thing that kept him alive was the hope that some day he would be out and without hope he would not be able to make it through that so I know you cannot compare trading to this but in essence if you lose hope then what is it why are you even here why do you bother waking up in the morning why you bother turning on your computer and checking your charts putting in all the time so if you see that you've done everything that you know you could have done you're not seeing the results you realize that you won't be able to reach your goals your dream life then you lose hope and then what do you do from there you're lost so this is where the reality the fear of reality really comes in um, and when we really can understand why the fear of reality has a valid place actually but we cannot let the fear of reality take over our actions because yeah some people prefer to live with their dream without even ever, ever reaching it but that's not the point here that is not what we want we want to really go after it we want to have a real shot because even if you fail at least you know that maybe trading isn't for you maybe that you cannot make your dreams come true with trading but that many dozens hundreds of other things that you could be doing to make money to um, live your dream to become financially free so even though you may realize at one point that trading isn't for you there are other things and at least you live in reality at least you understand okay this isn't for me let's pivot and let's look for something else so let's conclude this video with a few tips on how to overcome the fear of reality and how to make it work first of all you must commit to being brutally honest with yourself and this is a trait every trader needs to have in the end you're self-employed you're sitting by yourself like me talking into a camera uh, trading all day and no one cares if you make money at the end of the day it's all about you so if you're not committing to brutal honesty nobody cares nobody will care if you fail or succeed track your trades if you don't have a way of writing down your trades and reviewing it you have no chance zero chance of ever making any dollar long term as a trader you might get lucky here and there but over the long term 
you will not be able to build a trading career. If you don't know your numbers, if you don't track it, if you don't analyze it, if you don't really have a way of understanding what is going right, what is going wrong and how to fix it, you have zero chance of ever making any money, not only in trading, any other endeavor whatsoever. So you really need to become professional, face your failures, face your shortcomings, maybe look for an accountability partner, which is something that I've seen work many times in the past where it doesn't have to be a trader. It can be your spouse or your best friend or whatever. Just at the end of the day or at the end of the week, you come with your journal and you don't justify, you just explain. And once you, once the words come out of your mouth, why you did a certain thing, then your brain will recognize, okay, I took this trade, it lost, I completely lost my shit. And then I revenge traded, over leveraged, and I did everything wrong. And then if you keep repeating this months after months, week after week, and you always have to tell your accountability partner that every week you did the same, at one point it will sink inside. And once you are about to make a trading decision, you will remember, okay, on Friday I have to go to Lisa and explain to her that I did the same stupid shit again. And you will realize that at one point this will become frustrating, embarrassing, and you will look like a total idiot if you just keep doing the same things over and over again. So an accountability partner that you can trust uh, can be very, very valuable. So let me know, what are you about to do? Does it sound familiar? Um, have you done it in the past? And what are you about to do now? Are you ready to commit? And are you ready to be brutally honest and face objective reality?